this is question 9 on one of the paper ones in our IGCSE EdMax, um, May June 2013. This question is on vectors. It carries 8 points. So, uh, not a difficult problem. Let's just run through it. I'll keep an eye on the question. Uh, we are given uh, three points A, B and C relative to an origin O and they've given us the position vectors so I've written some of the important information on the board uh, they've given us the position vector of A the position vector of B and the position vector of C all relative to a point O so vector OA equals to A vector OB equals to uh, B and vector OC equals to C. I've uh, placed them on this picture. They also gave me AP is to AB. Careful. It's AP is to AB. Yeah. So let me write it here again. Okay. This one here is AP over AB equals to 304. Okay. And they gave me OQ is to QC. OQ is to QC is 2 is to 3 okay so again because it's important this is AP is to AB the whole line yeah? is 3 is to 4 so that's why I've indicated this is 3 parts is to 1 part yeah okay good now in the question let me look at it they want you to find AP okay the first part they want us to find AP so AP from the ratio they gave me, I know it will be equals to 3 over 4 of AB. Just using the ratios directly. Yeah? 3 over 4 AB. But, we know that AB will be equals to OB minus OA. That's from the triangular law of factor addition. So this will be B minus a. So now I can write AP equals to 304 vector B minus Okay, I might not say vector A and vector B all the time. I might just say B but I think you understand it's just vector B and vector A. Okay, now case here uh, AP will be 304 uh, times vector B minus vector A. So you can let me write it this way 304 B minus 304A. Okay, that's the first part. And in the same part, they ask you to show that OP is something. Yeah? OP. So, OP, how do you get from O to P? You can get from O to P by first going from O to A and then going from A to B. That's it. Okay? So, Let's write OA. Let's borrow the answer from AP. And now, all we have to do is just clean this up and we are done. A vector A minus 304A will be 104A and plus 304B. You are asked to show this and that's it. Okay, and we are done. So, uh, 104A plus 304B. Great. And then they ask us in the second part of the problem, they ask you to find PQ. Okay, let's keep our answers here. Okay, AP is 304B minus 304A. And uh, OP is 104A plus 304B. Okay, let's keep those answers just in case we need to use it. Yeah, so now we're trying to find PQ. Okay, let's get right to it. Okay, so to find PQ, PQ, let's use the uh, triangular law of vector addition, will be OQ minus OP. That's pretty good. We know OP. All we need to do is find OQ. But we know OQ. Okay. OQ will be 
there are five parts to the line and OQ is two parts, so two out of five of OC. So I'll have 205C. Okay? Now just plug in PQ B equals to 205C minus 104A plus 304B. And if you open this up, you'll get 205C minus 104A minus 304B. And we are done. Okay? So we have 205C minus 104A minus 304B. So let's give that answer. Okay? We have PQ will be equals to 205 vector C minus 104 vector A minus 304 vector B. Okay, we're done with this part as well. Now, the question, uh, the last part of this problem, um, they give you that 5 PQ, let's write it here, 5 PQ equals 6 BC. Okay, they gave us this in part 3. You are given that 5 PQ equals to 6 BC, you asked to find C in terms of A and B. Okay, so let's borrow all the numbers that we have got on the right hand side. Okay, 5, what's PQ? 205C minus 104A minus 304B and that will be equals to 6. What's BC? OC minus OB. So I have C minus B. Okay, BC we know is OC minus OB. Okay, what's left? We need to clean this up. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just open that up. I have uh, 5 times 205. I'll have 2C. Okay, let's do it slowly. Okay, and I have uh, 15 over 4B. And then I'll have uh, 6C uh, minus 6B. Okay, just opening this up. Yeah. And uh, just be careful, this is C. Okay. Now we want to express uh, vector C in terms of A and B. So let's move uh, the 2C to the right hand side. You'll get 4C. And move the 6B to the left. You'll get 6B minus 15 over 4B minus 5 over 4A. Then we can write this as uh, 6 minus 15 over 4, we have 24 minus uh, 15, I have got uh, 9 over 4B minus 5 over 4A. Then I have to divide by 4, because this is 4C, I need C, so I can write this as 9 over 16B minus 5 over 16A, and we are done.